is day 152, the students of the Sufa. In the north corner of the Prophet's mosque, people had made a shady area with dead leaves. When people were not saying their daily prayers, the companions used to gather at this place. They used to learn something new from the Prophet. This shady place was called the Sufa, meaning a large hall. The Sufa was a place where they had conversations, and at the same time, it was a shelter for the poor people who could not afford a shelter themselves. People also used it to say their private prayers. It was a place of learning, a place of education. Among the Muslims were some single men. These youth, who were all well-mannered, were very, very poor. However, they were eager to learn as much as they could. They didn't want to be separated from the Prophet even for a single moment. This shady place next to the mosque was a school for them. For this reason, they were called the students of the Sufa. They used to pray, learn the Quran, and teach those who didn't know how to read it. Since they did not have a house of their own, they had settled there in the corner of the mosque. They were next to the Prophet, always learning something new. Their hearts were filled with thanks and their minds with knowledge. They were like the stars of the Prophet. They used to love him. They were very happy to spend every single moment with him. The Prophet, of course, with the support of the rich Muslims, was taking care of them. Without regard for their poverty and the general famine in Medina, they were always busy with prayers, and this pleased and this pleased the Prophet very much. One day he told them, If you knew what Allah has prepared for you, you would want your poverty and needs to be doubled. The students of the Sufa were the most important helpers of the Prophet. For the sake of their religion, they had forgotten about their own comfort. They wanted to spread the religion of Islam to different cities and different countries. This situation of theirs was praised in the Quran.